Hey coders and welcome to episode 1.1 of our script service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. This video is going to be an add-on to our last video when we talked about time-based triggers. In this video we're going to be talking about how to get those time-based triggers to run at an exact time. So what do we mean by that? Well when you set up a traditional time-based trigger and you specify an at hour method, say you wanted to run a certain function at noon, you would say at hour 12, but what, but what that would really mean is it's going to run the function in between noon and 1 p.m., some random time in between noon and 1 p.m. And even if you specify the method near minute and you say zero, still that script is only going to be within a 15 plus or minus 15 minute interval when it runs the function. So that can be great if you don't really care about the exact time when it runs, you just need it to run sometime near the near the hour of 12 and near the minute of zero. But if you need a function to run every single day at an exact time and you can't be a minute late, these methods will not work for you. So one solution is to just use the at method. So the at method, you can specify the exact date and the exact time to run a function. And this is great. However, if you need it to run, again, if you need your function to run every single day or every single week and you you can't just run it one time and then be done with it, then you need another solution. And that second solution is to set up two triggers. So if you look on the right hand side of your screen, you can kind of see the blueprint for what I have in mind. And the first function is going to be called immutable trigger. And this function is going to run every single day, say at midnight, and it's going to call the second function mutable trigger. So mutable trigger is actually going to be where we set up the trigger to run our function. And it is going to use the at method. However, we are going to be changing the, the date and the month and the year every single time we run this mutable trigger. So we're going to be getting the date from a JavaScript date object. We're going to be extracting the day, month, and year. We're going to be deleting the old trigger from the previous day and then setting up a new trigger. So I think if we jump into the code, this might make a little bit more sense. So let's do that now. So I already have a lot of the code written out just to keep it not too complex or not too long of a video. But let's say that we wanted to run this function every single day at noon and it had to be exactly at noon. So one way we could do that is we could just set up a trigger. We could say new trigger, write in the name of the function, send email, we'd say time base, we could say every day, we could add in the methods at hour, and then we could say 12, something like that, and then we could say near minute, and then say zero. And this would be okay, again, if you just wanted to run this near the minute of zero and at the hour of 12. However, because of that plus or minus 15 minute confidence interval, we wouldn't actually get it to run at noon exactly every single day. It would just run at noon, say, on chance days. So if we needed to run every single day at noon, we could just come in here and at noon run it manually, but there's a different way and we can set up a trigger. And so what we'll do is we'll set up this first trigger and let's call it a mutable trigger. So, and that's immutable with an M before mutable. So we have script app, new trigger. So we're going to be setting up a trigger to set up another trigger. So again, this is our two trigger approach. I don't know if this is kind of like a hackish way to do this, or if this is how Google actually intended us to do it, but it works, so let's just do it. So new trigger, we're setting up a trigger to set up another trigger. It's going to be time-based, it's going to be every day, and it's going to be set up at midnight by default, or mid in between midnight and 1 a.m. So then it's once it runs, it's going to then run this mutable trigger. And then when that runs, we're going to get a new date object, a JavaScript date. We're going to store it in a constant called today. And then we're going to get the year of today. We're going to get the month of today. And we're going to get the day of today. We're going to store that in these three constants. We're also going to declare another uh, constant and call it function name. And it's going to be the name of our function that we're trying to run. So this next three, these next three lines are, we are going to get the current project triggers. And then for each of the triggers, we're going to assess whether that trigger has the handler function. So whatever function it's calling equal to our function name. And again, this is our function name, send email. So we're going to, we're going to loop through all of our triggers. If one of those triggers is calling this send email, and this is true, 
then we're going to delete that trigger. So again, this would have been the trigger that we set up, say, yesterday. And so we want to delete that. And then um, if, it's, if it's not equal to our function name, then we'll just return something like a dummy variable, like zero. And so that, this, is, this is to delete the, the old trigger, the old, uh, the old trigger that runs send email. And then after that, we want to set up a new trigger, which will set up a trigger for send email today. It's going to be time base. It's going to be at. And then the date is going to be our current year, current month, current day. But then it's going to be at noon and zero. So noon with zero minutes. And this is going to run exactly at noon. We're going to create it. So again, this is going to be created every single day. We're basically creating a new trigger every single day that's going to be run at noon. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below because I know this can be somewhat of a tricky uh, video. But uh, I'll see you in the next one.